Peggy 12. In the world of all rest, awash in the great cloud sea, legend has it that the towering world tree conceals the fabled paradise Elysium. One day the people of Elysium were cast out, and so the architect sent them his loyal servants, the colossal living lands known as Titans. To escape extinction, humanity sought refuge upon their backs. But all things must pass, and not even Titans live forever. Today, we'll explore the next big adventure on the Nintendo Switch system. But first, the following trailer will give us a closer look at the game's characters than ever before. It will be presented with Japanese audio and localized subtitles, as we're excited to announce that this voiceover option will be available in the game, thanks to free DLC available to download on launch day. Enjoy! あなたは死んだ。死に胸を差し貫かれて。私の命を半分あげます。そう あれ命を分けてもらったホムラの願いを叶えてやりたい。楽園ってあんた本気でそんなヨタ話信じてんの？まあそう言わずにお嬢様。トラ兄貴のお友達になるも。迷惑はかけられ慣れてますが。ガキ
A single driver can resonate with many blades, some of which are particularly powerful rare blades with varied designs, weapons, and abilities. It's nearly impossible to say which blade will appear. So, if you plan on questing through Allrest, seek out as many core crystals as you can find, bond with the blades you conjure to life, and before long, your team will grow in strength and number. Blades are just one form of life you will encounter in this vast world of titans. Across verdant plains, winding caverns, frozen kingdoms, scorched earth, and scenic beaches, you'll find areas teeming with wildlife. Depending on the time and weather, you may find peaceful grazers minding their own business or vicious predators who attack on sight. But even the most placid may lash out if you engage them or their young. Their behaviors run the gamut. Some travel in herds, some have bizarre rituals, and some will show up to a fight uninvited or call for help when threatened. Be on your guard. One moment you may think you're safe, and the next, you could face a dangerous creature far beyond your current level. Allrest is home to many especially strong monsters carrying precious items. If you manage to best one, a tombstone will be left commemorating the creature. If you visit their graves, you can face them again, so they remember who put them there. But be warned, monsters aren't your only enemies. Many desire to claim the Aegis, so stay vigilant and fight strategically. In Battle and Beyond, blades have a wide array of support abilities. While you're out adventuring, they may increase the number of items you collect, open up new paths to explore, or initiate other special effects. When you fight alongside a blade, they may use blade arts to protect their driver, strengthen their attacks, and so forth. In addition, elemental type, weapon type, and support abilities differ from blade to blade. There are three ways to strengthen them. Ox cores are blade accessories that enhance abilities, while core chips alter a weapon by raising its stats and changing its appearance. Each blade also has an affinity chart. As a blade and driver spend time together, the trust they share will grow, unlocking additional layers of the chart and stronger abilities. Furthermore, if you visit certain special locations, you can trigger heart-to-hearts that greatly boost their trust. It's a great way to see your companion in a different light. As you continue to resonate and acquire many blades, you may end up with some that you simply cannot find a use for in battle. By teaming these blades into mercenary groups, you can dispatch them for missions. After some time, the team will return with experience points, rewards, and more trust than ever. The Cloud Sea ebbs and flows, changing which areas and which of the Titan's many secrets are accessible at a given time. These shining spots are collection points where you can pick up valuable items for use in questing, unlocking certain blade abilities, or powering auxiliary cores. Brave salvagers may also dive under the Cloud Sea at salvage points. There's treasure below, but sometimes you may pull up more than you bargained for. While exploring these huge environments, you may fear getting lost. Luckily, Titans are full of special landmarks, and after discovering them, you can easily return at any time. Some landmarks can be difficult to reach. These secret areas have truly stunning views, whether you reach them during the day or at night. Somehow, you can set the time by turning the clock's hands you can also expand your view a bit by removing the map from the screen. Throughout your journey, you will find bustling cities in each region of Allrest. From shopping districts to residential quarters, each city has its own distinct layout and atmosphere. And each one also has a trading post, where you can bundle the items you've found into special sets and trade them for gold or other items. 
Some of the townspeople you meet may need help. If you oblige, you can count on a reward. But surely that isn't your main motivation, right? This is the Argentum Trade Guild, a large cloud seafaring vessel devoted to commerce. Tora certainly looks excited about it. Here, merchants offer everything from musical instruments to toys to books and more. It's a great place to shop. If you place acquired items in one of your party members' pouches, you can greatly enhance combat stats, such as strength, speed, and damage reduction for a limited time. Some areas, like the Argentum Trade Guild, have an accessory shop where you can buy items that boost stats while worn. This is just one of the many ways to customize your allies. Apparently, you can customize a very special blade by playing a game called Tiger Tiger. Just slip by these enemies and collect as much treasure as you can. Then use this treasure to enhance Tora's high-tech masterpiece, the artificial blade named Poppy. You can upgrade her abilities and even change her elemental type. Electric Poppy looks shockingly great, but Ice Poppy looks really cool too. This type of customization is exclusive to Poppy. She's truly one of a kind. In battle, your party includes up to three drivers who each have three blades to switch between. However, as you saw earlier, Rex's blade, Pyra, does have another form named Mithra, who he can swap in at any time. So he can basically have up to four blades. Warm up with auto attacks to charge up your powerful driver arts. If you switch to a different blade, you can use one after another. And if you completely fill your gauge, you can charge up a special that is even more powerful than driver arts. By continuing to charge up your special, you can reach greater levels, each one stronger than the last. The highest level is four, and it's so spectacular that even your enemies will stop to watch. Allies will wait for your command before using their own specials, so don't forget to give the order. If you want to win a fight, you better bring the right blades for the job. There are three types, attackers, tanks, and healers. The combination you bring to battle determines a driver's class, which affects the bonuses earned. So keep that in mind when building your party. Each weapon class has four driver arts, and you'll choose three of them. So, three blades with three arts each. That's nine arts per driver. They're intensely satisfying to use, so you may want to remove the names of arts and blades from the UI and soak in the action. As you win battles, you'll learn experience points, teach your drivers new skills, and raise the levels of their arts. There are three types of combos to master. The first are driver combos, which you perform by chaining arts together break an enemy's defenses, topple them to the ground, launch them in the air, and then smash them back down. During these maneuvers, the enemy will be unable to attack or defend, so skillfully combine your arts and beat them senseless. The next type, blade combos, chain together specials. If you can follow one up with another that matches one of the specified elements, the damage dealt will increase, and you can protect yourself by sealing an enemy's ability to cause certain effects. You can also use your ally specials to keep the combo going. If you reach the end of the combo, an elemental orb will circle the enemy. This orb plays into one masterful technique, so remember it well. The last type is called a fusion combo. Simply begin a blade combo while a driver combo is in effect. The result is immensely satisfying. Awesome. Launch mega explosion. Finally, remember that masterful technique? Well, as the fight rages on, the party gauge in the top left will gradually fill. It's normally used to revive fallen allies, but once it's full, you can use it to initiate a chain attack. The blades that Rex and his allies have on them will take turns unleashing their specials. This chain would normally break after three turns, but if you succeed at bursting elemental orbs, you can rack up even more. Pull that off, and your status as a legendary driver will be cemented in history. 
We've barely scratched the surface of Allrest's Titans in this Xenoblade Chronicles 2 Direct, and we hope you're really feeling it. However, we still have more to reveal. We're pleased to announce that an expansion pass will be available to purchase and will extend your adventures in the world of Xenoblade Chronicles 2. With this pass, you'll gain access to the downloadable content listed on screen, which will roll out between launch and the fall of 2018. Fans and owners of the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game should also take note. On November 9th, we'll distribute a new side quest in which you can obtain a Rex costume so Link can salvage Hyrule Allrest style. Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is the next big adventure on Nintendo Switch, launching December 1st. That same day, you can also look forward to the release of the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 Edition, as well as the Xenoblade Chronicles 2 Collector's Edition. It packs in a collection of artwork offering an exclusive look at the game world and a sound selection CD featuring the composer's gorgeous musical creations. If you'd prefer to play the digital version so that the adventure is always with you on Nintendo Switch, you can pre-order the game from Nintendo eShop soon after this presentation. If you do, you'll be among the first to play as soon as the game is available on December 1st. Thanks for watching, everyone. The world of Allrest awaits.